Even Shalouk's mother has come forward. What the hell is going on? This is just being revealed right now. Okay, wow, we've got a lot to get into. So it's now being revealed that he actually had an altercation. What we do know is that Sharif has obviously been removed. We damn well know Danny the Waste Man is obviously going to pick Molly May, believing that Yuanda is probably going to leave the show as well. In terms of the fact that she will have to leave because nobody will couple up with her. So they're trying to get rid of the POC people pretty quickly. I wouldn't be surprised if Anna's next. Or so Love Island have announced that Sharif has been officially removed from the house. Hey guys, it's Moran Morali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. Now don't ask me why I'm doing this video. I had a check out from my hotel and before I go back to Rome, I asked them if I could use a room to quickly film this video. So many of you guys were DMing me and messaging me and letting me know that he has been removed and I'm thankful to you guys for letting me know. But um, obviously, because when I'm abroad, I can't really do videos on demand. The setup is obviously very different and it can be very, very difficult. So please, Hopefully you guys can appreciate the fact that I'm getting these videos out somehow, one way or another. I literally had to just do it in this particular office, um, in this ridiculous kind of like cute room, but like weird room in this hotel. Um, but yeah, let's get into this. Obviously subscribe to my channel, click that button for daily consistent videos, please. And follow me on my Instagram, Murad underscore Murali. Please click that button and follow me on my Instagram. I would massively appreciate it. We have a lot to talk about because in the last 15 minutes, more information has now been revealed to us as to allegedly why Sharif has been removed from the villa. But the first question that's on our minds is, is why has this particular individual been removed? What has he done? What is going on? What is the reason for why Sharif has been removed? This week is also like um, Fashion Week in Florence as well, so a lot is going on. Um, for, and Florence is obviously cute for events and stuff, so right after this, I've got to edit this video, get a taxi, head to an event in this cute outfit that I'm wearing, and you know, it's just go to an half party and then back to Rome. So it's literally non-damn stop. But we're gonna get into this. Now, obviously we're questioning and saying, you know, Anton was doing blackface. We have obviously Molly May with her resurfaced tweets and so forth that was going on. So why haven't they been removed? You can argue that these individual acts were not done in the villa, they were done outside the villa. So therefore they haven't been removed for it. However, they were brought into the villa knowing with what they have done. So the, of course there are double standards here at this point. Are we really surprised? No, we're not. Um, now other reports are going on that Sharif has obviously been removed from the villa because of you know the fact that he was pleasuring himself in a particular kind of you know swimming pool or pool or whatever and these were the reasons because of like it comes off like quite, quite aggressive so we aren't really getting any confirmed reports we aren't now the double standards are obviously very apparent and irritating for a lot of people and I can, I can obviously understand that but this is obviously going to be an issue because a lot of people are speaking about it and even more irritating for me because Sh Sharif and Anna were just getting along they were they just kissed Things were going well. We edit the show each and every damn day. Literally, last minute. Dot com. They're editing and they're throwing out content. That's how they do it. So this in, um, incident did not take place like a couple of days ago. Or whatever. This probably take, took, took place the last twenty four hours. Where they you know they spoke and they agreed that he had to leave. However, there have literally been new reports coming out, and we need to get into this. It's now being revealed that he actually had an altercation with Anton. And that Anton was actually being quite rude, making you know kind of a, a racist kind of statements and so forth. And that is actually the reason for why he actually got removed. So why he got removed, I don't know. This is just crazy. This is for me. This is actually like nobody expected this, and this is the actual issue. Nobody expected this to occur at all, and it did. And people are all talking about it, and they're going crazy about it. Even Shalouk's mother has come forward. What the hell is going? This is just being revealed right now. Okay, wow, we've got a lot to get into. So, Madison and um, um, Lily said, right, I know some of Lucy's family. I don't know how that relates to this, but basically Sharif broke Anton's wrist because Anton was making racist jokes and he got really heated and they ended up fighting. The producers broke it up, but Anton had to go to hospital and Sharif just got kicked off. Anton's only due to miss one or two episodes, but he will be back. We love you, Sharif. Hope you're okay, everyone makes mistakes. So he can obviously come back, but Sharif can't. I wonder why. Obviously because Sharif is black. So we have these double standards going on, disgusting, ridiculous situations. If this is actually very true, I'll be shocked and surprised. And this is going to leave a whole new scandalous situation for Love Island. This is ridiculous. This is going to get a lot of people talking. I'm kind of glad that I wasn't able to do this video as soon as you know that news got out because a lot more information a lot more important layers are being revealed when it comes to this particular topic. And we now have Sharif's mother who's coming forward saying my son's been unfairly treated. Sharif um, Lone's mother blasts the show following his shock departure. So sad Sharif has left the villa. It's unclear why at the moment, but hopefully we'll be able to update. But he'll still be appearing on our screen tonight. Um, 
he goes, she goes on to say, I don't know the real reason yet, but I'm determined to get to the bottom of it. I don't know if he actually has done anything wrong yet. I need to look at his Love Island code of conduct and I need to speak to him properly to find out what really happened. She added, but I'm his mum. I'm going to think it was a bit unfair. I think so, I'm going to defend my son. Diana, Sharif's mum, a, a psychotherapist, said Sharif had not gone looking for fame, had been plucked from obscurity to appear on the show. She said he's a lovely, lovely young man, a great boy, he is not a fame chaser, he was not looking for fame. He was spotted buying a sandwich by producers and asked to go on the show so he isn't fame hungry. Interesting. Sharif is just a very tall, lovely young man, he was invited to, to join the show, which he thought would be a great opportunity, and I still think it was. I sent him off with the words, enjoy yourself, be yourself, this is a great adventure, nothing more, nothing less, and that's exactly what it was. So the mother is pissed as well. So this is turning into a whole new scandal now. This is in a situation where he left the show because he's apparently more reports that he was found on his phone. Now reports going that they had altercation with Anton. What is going on? We simply don't know. But what we do know is that a lot of ridiculous layers and it's so irritating that all of this, this is so far the most jam-packed Love Island intense week of you know news and I'm obviously abroad so I can't get these videos up for you literally on demand but I'm trying to do my best as I can hopefully you guys will appreciate it but so much is going on inside and outside the villa all these reports we don't know what is happening what we do know is that Sharif has obviously been removed we damn well know Danny the Waste Man is obviously going to pick Molly May believing that you one day is probably going to leave the show as well in terms of the fact that she will have to leave because nobody will couple up with her so they're trying to get rid of the POC people pretty quickly I wouldn't be surprised if Anna's next or something like this or you know but what we also have in respect of the show is Michael and Amber who seem to be a couple but I obviously will speak about that in this later episode if I have the time to do so I don't think my review for this episode will come out tonight realistically because I'm going to be on a train back and so forth there's just going to be too much but hopefully you'll get my review the next day cross fingers um, but this situation we need to really de um, decipher and talk about it because there are so many layers what is really going on Everybody's coming up with information because of social media access. Everybody is able to leak information and reveal information very easily and very quickly. So therefore, we shouldn't under underpin these comments because they could be reliable. Why is somebody from Lucy's family, who knows Lucy's family, coming up with this information? And how do you even know this information? How do you know that? Like, did Lucy tell you? Does she have contact with that? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Well, it does make sense. The reason why it makes sense is because we know Anton's past. So there is some integrity, there is some depth there for this particular story to be true. However, we don't know that to be true, so we shouldn't be going off with that. There are things that he was in the pool pleasuring himself. There was that he was on the phone and he had a, he had a fight with Anton. What is the reason for why he got removed? We don't know. His mum literally, as with that story, he just come out live in this video, is pissed off and is annoyed. So that adds to the mystery of perhaps he was unjustly removed from the show. But are we surprised? No, we're not. However, this seems to be a scandalous situation for ITV and it seems that it's going to be a very, very heated moment for them and hopefully this moment won't pass and hopefully we will find out what the real reason what the real reason is because this is ridiculous and I just feel like people need to find out what is the real reason. This is ridiculous. This is actually really crazy because if this story is true and he has had a fight in an altercation with Anton, things are going to get very, very serious because I don't expect it to be happening. But why isn't Anthony removed if this is to be the case? So perhaps this story is not true. I don't even know, child. Like, I have no idea what the hell is going on. Um, I thought I'd get this video up for you guys as soon as possible. But we can definitely, what we have done in this video is explain not only that he's leaving and that that's been confirmed, but that we can outline the different plausible theories and reasons for why he has gone. We have one reason, the pool, whatever he was doing, he had an argument altercation with Anton, or he was caught on his phone. He was also saying in the report that he had a discussion with Love Island and producers, and they kind of agreed that, you know, he has to leave, and he agreed as well. They don't tolerate racism, aggressive behavior, or, you know, similar to that girl who was, who I think her name was Malia, who hit Katie season two, she had to leave straight away. So they don't deal with that, but then why isn't Anton removed at the same time if this is to be the real reason? Why? And the fact that his mum is saying she's going to get the, to the bottom of it shows that something unjust has taken place. Some, something is going on right now that we perhaps don't know to an exact, but something unjust is going on with this situation. So, yeah, I don't even know, child. This is too much. This is ridiculous. Let me know what you guys think. Hit me up on my Instagram, please. Murad Musko Murali. And definitely subscribe to my channel. Click that button for daily consistent videos. Click that button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Go to my Instagram, write my name in Murad Musko Murali and hit that follow button. I would massively appreciate it. And do comment down below. I read all your comments. Comment, share, like, and subscribe. And let's discuss this ridiculously crazy 
unjust. I would say this is more of an unjust situation than tea dripping for me. It's not really tea dripping because this really is unjust if this is the situation that's going on with Sharif. I don't even know. I'll catch you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching this video and hopefully I'll try my best to get the my next video out somehow.